It always seems like the new year starts out slow for new metal that grabs my attention and my wallet, but things are really clicking now, and I just made my first Bandcamp haul of 2024. So, what band's got some of my hard-earned money this time? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. I hate wasting money. Not that I'm cheap or anything. I just hate wasting money, and so before I buy something, I always do my homework, and metal is no different. The great thing about shopping for new metal is it means trying on new metal, which means listening to new metal, and that's not shopping at all. But I'm kind of picky, so I don't buy anything that doesn't fit really damn well. What fit this time? Submitted with minimal comment. The first thing I bought was Bestius Ominum, the third LP from Polish Meddlers Eretik, which is a bunch of words from two languages that I don't speak. Eight years on from their last LP, 2016's Day Non Existentia Day, again with the Latin. This album actually came out in 2023, on Christmas Day in fact, and since my cutoff for paying any attention to new metal is usually about mid-December, I missed it. Making up for lost time on my part then, it's a battering slab of ass-kicking, thrashy, black and death metal with some really sweet groove breaks and other fun bits. So if you like it a bit rough and you don't mind getting chocolate in your peanut butter and your skull cave the fuck in, check this one out. It's out on digital and CD on Iron Blood and Death Corporation and on cassette on Ataraxia Productions. Next up was Incult's debut LP, The Burnt Offering. This is the follow-up to 2017's Pinup EP, their first release, and it was heralded by two single releases in 2023 and one in 2024, and all three of those recent singles are included on the album. Released in mid-January, it is eight tracks of chunky, thrashy, bludgeonous Belgian death metal that combines cannibalesque brutality and Midwestern meat and potatoes riffing aesthetics into a surprisingly American-feeling ass-kicker of a debut outing. It's sure to please any fan of old-school U.S. death metal, and it's available on CD and digital as an independent release, so get cracking. And then it was midnight time, and picking up Hellish Expectations, Athenar's 6 LP under the Midnight moniker was an absolute no-brainer. That's because every Midnight LP ever has placed in the top 10 of my Album of the Year list, all the way back to the debut LP, Satanic Royalty, in 2011. It would be absolutely no exaggeration to say that Midnight is one of my favorite bands, they have more first place Old Man Metal Album of the Year rankings than any other band. In fact, they're the only band to have gotten Album of the Year from me more than once. So if you love Athenar's manic, gleefully blasphemous take on stripped down, high speed, low drag, black speed metal like I do, don't sleep on this one. It's out on Metal Blade on all formats. I mean, it's midnight, just go buy it. The fourth thing I picked up was another debut LP, this one entitled Self Wound from Portland's Negative Prayer. This one follows their first release, a self-titled EP from 2023, and it's a hell of a debut album. Self Wound is really ace crust punk with filthy gritty death metalish production and cavern death growl vocals and an admirably pithy Spartan approach to song titles. Metal Archives lists them as a death metal crust punk hybrid which I think is a bit of an overreach, since musically everything here is pure crust punk. It's just some of the aesthetics that come from the realms of death metal. That said, it's a great album, and it's out as an independent digital release, as well as cassette on Life After Death and CD on Chaos Records. Don't sleep on this one. And my fifth and final Bandcamp purchase for this time was the first release of any sort from Finland's Slaw Terror, the Endless Lust for Gore EP. Now this is a rollicking little necro spin through the old graveyard. Old school sweet eth at its core, it's riffy, thrashy, crushing and groovy, it's carnal remains flayed by intense bits of blackening and oozing grave groove like so much feculent post-mortem pus. With more bounce to the ounce than the average death metal outing, more gratuitous blood and violence than a knockoff slasher flick, and shorter tracks than some thrash bands who ought to know better. If you like your death metal swift battering and gory, this bud's for you. Released on February 23rd, this one is digital only on the Noble Demon label. So, you can check out all these releases for free on my Bandcamp fan page, which is linked in the show notes below. And if you like any of them, buy them and support the bands. 
And if you want to support practical metal journalism, I recommend buying K-Man Riffs a coffee. He's the reason I even know about most of this stuff. Link in the show notes below. It's available on CD as an independent digital release, as a digital CD independent release on digital and CD. It's available on those things as a release of some sort. That's cute. God damn it.